Hey, welcome back everybody. Today in the site Android Studio, we're gonna continue working on this Facebook newsfeed style design and functionality. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, I describe how to use constraint layout and recycler view along with coordinator layout and what else? Text view, what else did I use? I'm forgetting, there's some other stuff that I used. But basically, yeah, so here's constraint layout. This is our layout, it's kind of the same, you know, post layout, this is our row. But, and just to show you if you haven't seen this already, is you can like scroll through all these pictures. And these are just random pictures and you can like and comment and share them. So what we're gonna do today is, and is what I said, what I talked about the other day or yesterday, where we can make these different types. So like right now, all of these types are just photos. So what if somebody posts a video? Or what if somebody posts a New York Times article or a news article? Or what if somebody, you know, there's, there could be many different types of stuff. So photos is just one type of stuff. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to insert ads. So you could be inserting AdMob or something like that, or you wanna use Firebase or Google Cloud Platform or AWS to insert ads or whatever. You can do that. You can create different types. So in this recycler view with, again, this has, um, let me open it up really quick and sh show you uh, main activity we have. So yeah, oh, we're using Kotlin also, just so you know. But so we start at one, we go up to 100, so 100 posts. And that's basically what we get here, but they're all the same type. So today we're gonna create, we're gonna insert an ad every say, you know, fifth place. So you'll see five posts and then an ad and then five posts and an ad, or you'll see uh, seven posts or 10, every 10 posts. So this is, for this is we're just gonna do the basics and we'll clean it up tomorrow, but let's go ahead and get started. So uh, go into Android Studio. Uh, we don't need this, so I'm going to close that, and we don't need that either, so we can close that by just shift-clicking on the title. So, yeah, if I shift-click, it'll get rid of it. So let's open that back up. So you'll notice here is our uh, recycler, here's our post adapter. We're extending, uh, the, we're using recycler view here. And so we have our standard get item count, create view holder, bind view holder, that kind of stuff. But there's another method that Recycler View gives us that we can use. So just right already, you can kind of see in our on create view holder, we have a variable called view type and it's type integer. So where does that come from and how do we get it? This right here is going to be key in determining if we should display a photo like a photo you see right here or if we should display ad an ad instead so let's go ahead and create that new or let's go ahead and override that new function so if I just type uh, type type here you'll see we get get item type and what we can do here is we can we can return zero or we can return yeah we can return zero or we could a uh, return one for photo or two for video or three for ad or four for news article or five for panoramic panoramic just whatever whatever you can think of um, so, so you can have all these different designs so let's do something uh, we're using uh, we're using Kotlin so let's do something let's go ahead and create a uh, 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 companion object so companion object and we'll do constant val um, let's do type post int equals zero and then let's duplicate that and let's do type add okay so basically this is kind of like your static kind of like your these are just variables constant variables so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this get item view type and we're gonna say hey um, either return a post or an ad. And then once this gets processed for each row, it's gonna come up to here and say, hey, um, view type, which ID or which integer are we going to use? And it'll come down here and it'll say, oh, okay, it's a post or it's an ad. So hopefully this, uh, uh, an example will make more sense. Let's do this, let's do if um, position, and we do have access to the position. So let's just do this, if position equals We'll say if it equals one return, we'll return um, an ad, uh, type ad. Uh, and there's there, we'll clean this up in the next video, else we'll do return, uh, actually what we can do is we can just do this. We can do return um, post. And if we can just select that. So, now what's the, so what this is saying is, hey, it's gonna start at position, you know, zero, one, two, three, four, five. If it gets to position one, insert an ad, or not insert an ad, but return a type ad. And we know this is, oh, this needs to change. That needs to be a one. 
Okay, so if it's so if it's the type add, it will return one. Otherwise, if it's a post, it'll return zero. So now up here we can say, hey, we're actually uh, getting that. So if I do d, and this is the equivalent of log dot d, what you might be used to. So but in here it's just d. I'll call it Daniel. Type is plus view type. Okay, uh, note that, format the code. So I'm gonna go ahead and just run this in the emulator, and I have a pixel emulator already set up, and you'll see that, oh, we need to open the log hat, and search this for Daniel. And yeah, here we go. So the type is zero, so zero would be a post, and then we got an add. So if I keep that open, I'll move this over here, and if I scroll through this, we yeah, we should see a bunch of zeros, because all of these, all of these are posts and zero is posts. So we can just scroll through this. Um, not sure what's going on. Anyways, so that should, uh, anyway. So yeah, we can scroll through these posts and so that's, that's sort of working for us. So we have that. Uh, maybe this is already loaded. I'm not sure why that is. Why is that? Huh, restart it. Anyway, maybe I messed up. But anyway, okay, so so we have we have the basics of that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And now what what did that do? Okay. So what, what we need to do is we have our view holder down here. And uh, actually let's go ahead and do something else. So right now we have our post row. So this is our row. So for every post we see we see the image there. We see the image there and the text and stuff. We need to create another layout for the ad. So just like the each row has a layout, this right here, which is this, we're gonna create a new layout and we'll call this ad row. And this one will just be wrap content and we'll put text, we'll put a basic text view, wrap wrap, uh, text uh, equals by our, our product. ID equals add text, color equals white, and text size equals 40 SP. There we go. Background equals number of no, 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 no. That's, oops, not that. That should be red. So if we go here, yeah. Obviously, something's going on. And obviously, you'd get with your designer, and your designer would give you uh, a mock up in Photoshop or Avocode or, or Zeppelin or whatever, and you could do it that way. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do uh, padding, and we this is our this is stuff that this is stuff that we created in a previous video. So this is this is just something really obvious that you can tell something's going on. Um, in real life, get something from your designer. Don't use that. So right now we have our we have our username and our text and our photo on our view holder, but if you'll notice. Uh, our ad, we don't actually have a username and uh, we don't have a username and text. Well, we have text, but not that kind of text, but we don't have a photo. So let's go ahead and change this to post view holder. And that'll change a number of things. Um, but we also, let's go ahead and duplicate this. So let's call this ad view holder. Oops, ad view holder. So now we have two, two um, so we can say, uh, you know, this is an ad insert ad text here so that's that's where we do it and this is breaking a number of other things and so and this, this all happens because I changed it from post view holder to or from from view holder to post view holder so let's go ahead and do this instead of extending this specific view holder let's do recycler view dot view holder and extend that okay so we have some other errors and problems going on and basically where you see these view holders it was referencing that before, but we don't have that anymore. We changed it to post and add because we have different types. So let's do this. Let's just let's just uh, uh, do all of not that, but let's do these. Let's do um, actually not that. No, let's do it this. Let's do recycler view dot. Let's do recycler view dot view holder, and then let's do here. Let's do uh, recycler. Uh, view dot view holder there that gets rid of some errors and introduces some new ones so just to get just to get this working today I'm gonna do it the short and sloppy way that might make a little bit more sense but tomorrow we'll we'll just basically tomorrow we'll clean all this stuff up um, and I'll th there are better ways to do this but 
we're just gonna do this for now. So let me see. So let's see, we got our onCreate view holder, da da da. Okay, so if so we're getting so we're so right here is where we're basically setting. We're doing a little bit of logic it says, hey, if it's the first position, insert the ad. Otherwise, if it's zero or two or three or whatever, insert a post. Okay, so let's do a little bit of logic here. Uh, and, and we're basically gonna say, hey, if if view type equals type post, do that here. Again, really messy. This will work, it's not ideal. Uh, else, um, let's copy this code and stick it in here. And so basically, if if our if our type is a post, uh, we want to do post view holder. Let's get rid of those errors. Else, I'll do an if view type equals type add. If it's type add, then we'll do this. And this is a bunch of duplicate code here. Um, we'll clean it up in the next video, but we'll do add view holder. Okay, so I got rid of some errors. We still have some other issues that we need to deal with. And just to get this working, let's do this. Uh, let's do, I'm trying to think of what of the best way to do this is. Um, I guess we could just for now do, um, let me think about this. So onbind view holders, basically, basically where we kind of yeah, set our username and text and stuff. Um, what we can do is we can do something kind of like, I think, or let me let me just. Uh, so yeah, so hopefully hopefully this is making sense where we have our different view holders. Uh, so our post view holder and our add view holder. And let me think. Um, uh, let's see, the best way to do this might be to. Um, I'm just trying to think of the best way to do it. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do uh, if uh, position equals, uh, and we'll do it post. And if we can get to it, then we'll do all of this code. Because, like, hopefully this makes. Oops, did I mess something up? Nope. Okay. Hopefully this. No, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Okay, what I wanted to do is, so basically, if our view type for this position is post, we'll set the username and text view and photo just like it is there. But if it's an ad, we're not gonna have necessarily a photo with a post. We might have a photo, but it'll be from an ad. So we need to do, or we'll do else if, uh, and then we'll do uh, get item view type position. Then we'll do something else. So this is this is kind of messy, and we'll clean it up in the next video. But just to get something working, we'll do this. And we need to cast this, so we'll do um, holder as a post view holder. And there we go. That cast that. So uh, otherwise, um, you know what, let's, this actually might work as it is. We might get an error. Let me see if I messed something up or returned. Um, oh, so, oh, okay. Let's do this instead. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Get rid of that. Uh, then we'll go ahead and run it on the emulator and let's see if this works this should give us this will give us some helpful feedback it might crash instantly and it doesn't but it doesn't show us our ad either uh, oh oh yeah, yeah okay so yeah yeah so here so this right here is supposed to be the ad but the reason it's blank is because it's doing it's it's treating it it's treating it as an ad and we're not binding all of the username and the post and the text and the photo and stuff. So, but the problem is up here. So we're doing some if statements. So if the type is post, do all of that. Otherwise, do that. And we have the return. Retur we're returning early there. So let's change this one to add row. 
and I'm gonna run that, and this here we should see that red, uh, we should see this right here. When this, yeah, so there it is. So there's our ad. So um, let's change the logic for that. Let's do something else. Let's do if, uh, we can do this. If uh, position uh, percent sign five equals zero. So every basically fifth position. So let's run this and see. So this is very useful if you're creating a recycler view like we are right now and you want to insert ad mob here. Um, this is a, and why is the internet not working? Photos aren't showing up. I must have messed something up somewhere along the way, but I can't figure out where. Oh, here we go. Maybe our net was just slow or something. Okay, anyway, so here's our ad. So buy our product. That should be every fifth position. One, two, three, four. Yes, every fifth position here. So yeah, we can like scroll through these photos and see, yeah, these are you know nice photos, but we also get our ad mob or Firebase uh, ads or um, Google ads or your, or maybe you have your own ad server with Google Cloud Platform and you're setting things up. But uh, yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to do today. Um, and, I'll, and you can extend this. So instead of, so where is our type? So instead of, you could just keep doing FL statements, kind of a messy way to do it. We can say, hey, if it's a video, if it's a photo, if it's an ad, if it's a, a, a wanted, it's, if it's a, whatever it is, you can just go through, go through, go through the list and assign them that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video at this point, but this code is very messy and there, there's some new, there's some new functionality in Kotlin that we can take advantage of to get rid of a lot of this code. So for now we have our ad. Um, so say, we'll say for also, and position doesn't equal zero. Cause I'm not sure we want our first position to be an ad. Just might not make sense. Maybe it makes sense in your use case, maybe not. But we want the user to actually see some photos and see some nice stuff. So th these are the nice photos that are loading. And then they get our ad every once in a while after that. So this is um, how to create a recycler view, kind of a Facebook newsfeed style design. Um, so hopefully you learned something and stay, uh, if you didn't catch the previous videos on how to make this functionality, uh, go back to my previous videos and tomorrow we'll clean this, we'll clean this code up. So see you tomorrow.